Hello, my name is Carolyn Hayes. I'm the Director of Children and Young Families for Gaithersburg Presbyterian Church and welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, September 20th, 2020. Let's open with prayer. Gracious Lord, please open our hearts, open our minds, open our ears and open our eyes to you and to your word in, to your word and to your work in our world. Help us to understand how things that happened so long ago have real meaning in our lives today. Help us to see your work all around us. Help us to see you in the people that we meet and help us to act like we do. Please bless this study and us to thy service. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So let's start off reading the scripture, which is Matthew, it's a gospel reading. It's one of those, the stories of the disciples. Um, it's Matthew 20, verses 1 through 6. Teen, 16. Sorry. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire men to work in his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About the third hour, he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, you go also and work in my vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour and he did the same thing. About the 11th hour, he went out and found still others standing around. He asked them, why are you, why have you been standing around all day doing nothing? They said, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you go also and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going to the first. The workers who were hired about the 11th hour came and each received a denarius. So when they came to those who were hired first, they expected to receive more, but each one of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These men who were hired last worked only one hour, they said, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, friend, I am not being unfair to you. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the man who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. This is the witness to God's word. Thanks be to God. You guys know what the word generous means, right? I looked it up just because I wanted to make sure that I was saying it correctly. And the dictionary said, Generous means usually a person who is ready to give more of something, usually valuable, than is expected. Like if we both liked M&Ms and I gave you more of a bag of M&Ms than I took, that would be generous. Or if a teacher were to stay long after school to help you understand something that you were having a hard time understanding. They were being generous with their time. When I was growing up, now my sister was not born until eight, until I was eight. So, and there wasn't anybody in between us. It was just a long time. Um, but there was a family in my neighborhood that had 12 children. It was the funnest place in the, pl in the whole neighborhood to be. Clearly, the oldest kid was a whole lot older than the youngest kid, right? 
In this case, the oldest kid was very nearly finished with high school when the youngest was born. Do you think the parents in that family loved the oldest child more than the youngest child because they'd been around longer? Of course not. Neither did my parents love my sister any less or any more than me. Though I have to admit, I was a little worried that there wasn't gonna be enough love to go around. But love doesn't work like that. The amount of love just expands to include whoever comes into your family. And that's what Jesus is telling us, that even though the disciples had been around since the very beginning and had, had worked hard and had sacrificed a lot, that God is going to take care of them just the same way that God will take care of me or you or anybody else. It's less about when you start loving God and more about loving God. The key is to realize that God loves us and is waiting there for us to love him. And he wants us to love him back and to love our neighbors the same way he loves us. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for sending us Jesus to teach us what your kingdom should look like. Help us to understand how to be generous with our time, with our money, and with our love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you had a great week. I hope that you have a great week. I hope that you and your families are still st staying safe um, and well. Stay strong, keep your masks on, keep socially distanced. We will get through this. But remember, we're not running the whole race Right now, we only have to get to the next corner. And when we get to that corner, we only have to get to the next one. Take good care of yourselves. I look forward to seeing you hopefully soon.